Hi everybody, this is Mike and I'm going to be showing you today how you can create a no scroll section for your Moodle course. I've uh, created a table on top of my page with some graphics and the first couple, if I click on them, will take me to a section of the course, a page that I've created and that, but now if I want to do that for my other sections, such as this adding activity section, I need to uh, create a page for that. So the first thing I'm going to do is come down and I like to organize it by putting it in the section that I want to have it there. So here I am in the adding activities section and right underneath the assignment here I'm going to say add an activity or resource. I'm going to scroll down on this and select a page because I want this to be a web page. And now that I've done that, I'm going to name the page I can spell. And now my kids are probably going to try and sneak behind me at this point. I apologize for that. Um, and now I need my content. So what I'm going to do, using Chrome, I'm, I'm actually logged in as two different people logged in uh, on this account and I've turned it to student role. And so I'm going to come down to this section and when I look at this I see things just like a nice page. So now I'm going to copy all the content for that section like so. I'll just copy it here and I'm going to come back into this part where I want the page content and I might widen this out. Another nice feature of Moodle 2 is the ability to just widen it out right in Chrome. And I'll paste that in. Now when you paste, sometimes there's some additional things like a bullet here I need to get rid of and maybe I'll come back here and make this a little bit bigger, change the color on it, make it look nicer, and come back up, see how clean it looks. You may have to take the image and get it back into a format that looks good for you. Once you have that in place, check it out, you can go ahead and you're going to want to say save and display. And by save and display, you're going to see the actual page and be able to get the URL for it here. And when that comes up, eventually, Okay, I waited a little bit, it didn't come up, and now I remember why. When you are adding things in Moodle 2.4, one of the new things you have to remember is that you a description is required. So, I'm going to add just a brief description of what it is, and now I'll try Save and Display. And here it is. And I take a look at it and I say, okay, that looks pretty good. I might want to go back and format it a little bit later. But now I'm going to copy this URL. So I copy the URL. And now I'm going to come back to my front page. And now I'm going to edit this label at the top so that I can take that table section here, adding activities. I'll highlight both the text and the graphic and click on link, paste the URL. I'm going to give it a title and just a reminder the reason we have a title for these things is that uh, it's a universal design uh, standard so that when a person who may be sight impaired rolls their mouse over they hear what it is uh, and can click on it if that's what they wanted to go to. So I'll click insert here and now I've got that. Now I'll save my changes and now I've got this nice graphic that'll take me right to that section of the course and with these resources and everything the graphics show up and when I'm clicking on these I'm actually going to that resource. So when I click here it'll take me to that resource and the one thing that I need to maybe do on each of these now is add 
a link to take me back to that original page so that for every page I'm not having to click twice to get back to it where I was. I can click. So once you've put those links in, the very last thing you're going to do in your course is change it so that as opposed to there being right now I've got about seven or eight different topics in here. I'm going to change the settings so that there's only zero topics. Just that top topic shows up. So down here under the number of sections I'm going to say zero because I only want that top topic to show. And I'll go ahead and save changes. And now here's my course. That's all you can see when I'm in switch my role to student. And that's all I have. And when I want to get to that section, I click. And it's going to take me right there. And back. So that's how you can create that no scroll in your Moodle course. Um, I invite you to play around with it. There are some disadvantages. I had to turn off the uh, completion tracking in order to, to make this work using this method, um, which some of you may really want that completion tracking and so keeping it scrolled. The other thing you can do is just put a table in and have it go down to uh, just by text with the auto linking go down and uh, have it get to those pages that you create. Um, but uh, that's a quick way to, to make no scroll courses happen and I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with.